President Trump is a total and complete dipshit. You see, I would never say these things. Someone else would. Like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. Do you want to know what generative AI really is? This form of artificial intelligence has the power to create, to innovate, and to generate content that is so realistic it can fool the human eye, ear, and even mind. Yet, what is this technology truly capable of? And how does it truly work? Here's everything you need to know about generative AI. What is generative AI in simple terms? And how does it work? Picture yourself as an artist with a blank canvas in front of you. With every brushstroke, you're creating something entirely new, driven by your imagination. Now, imagine if a machine could do the same, not just replicating or rearranging existing elements, but actually generating entirely new content all on its own. That, in essence, is what generative AI is. Generative AI is like a virtual artist with an ever-expanding palette. It's not just about learning patterns or making decisions based on data it's already seen. It's about creating something entirely new, much like an artist or a writer would. Think of it like the weather. A traditional AI might look at the weather patterns of the past and say, it's going to rain tomorrow because it's rained on this day for the past three years. But a generative AI is like a cloud creating the rain itself. It's not just predicting or responding, it's generating. But how does it work? At its core, generative AI leverages advanced neural networks such as GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks, VAEs, Variational Autoencoders, and Transformers. These tools work together to understand patterns, then use that understanding to create new original output. Imagine two artists in a contest. One creates a piece, and the other tries to tell if it's original or a replica. Over time, the first artist gets so good at making replicas that they become indistinguishable from the original. That's how GANs work, with one part generating content and the other judging its authenticity in a continuous cycle of learning and refining. So while traditional AI is like a calculator, taking in numbers and spitting out results, generative AI is more like a jazz musician, taking in notes and rhythms and creating something entirely new, spontaneous and creative. It's not just about understanding the world as it is, but imagining the world as it could be. And that's what makes it so powerful, so exciting, and so full of potential. What are generative AI applications? Imagine you're walking down a bustling city street. There are signs and advertisements everywhere, but what if I told you that some of these advertisements were not created by human minds, but by artificial intelligence? In fact, they were created by a generative AI. This isn't science fiction, it's reality. Generative AI is already here, and it's changing the way we live and work. One of the most recognized generative AI tools is OpenAI's ChatGPT. It's a powerful language model that can generate coherent and contextually relevant sentences based on a given prompt. From drafting emails, writing articles, to even creating poetry, ChatGPT can do it all. But it's not just text. Generative AI is being used across different mediums. In the world of art and design, there's a tool called Midjourney. This AI can generate novel visual content, from logos to web page layouts. In essence, it's like having a digital Picasso on your design team. This isn't about replacing human creativity. It's about enhancing it. Just think about the possibilities when human creativity meets AI innovation. Generative AI also has a huge role to play in the world of science and technology. Imagine a machine that can design new molecules for life-saving drugs or predict the structure of proteins, tasks that would take human beings years to accomplish. Generative AI can do this and much more, speeding up the pace of scientific discovery. Let's not forget about the entertainment industry. AI models can generate music, script dialogue for video games, and even write screenplays. And this is just the beginning. 
As generative AI continues to evolve, it's going to push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. What is the difference between generative and general AI? Our journey through the world of AI takes us to a fork in the road. One path leads to generative AI, the other to general AI. They both have AI in their name, but they are fundamentally different in their capabilities and goals. Imagine you have a puzzle. Generative AI is like having a tool that can create new pieces for this puzzle, pieces that fit perfectly and even enhance the overall picture. It generates new data, like text, images, or even music, adding to the existing pool of information. As we've already discussed, examples of generative AI are tools like ChatGPT or Midjourney, which can create written content and visual designs respectively. General AI, on the other hand, isn't about creating new pieces, it's about understanding the entire puzzle. It's the type of AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human being can. It possesses broad cognitive abilities, enabling it to understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks. It's not just about following instructions, but about making sense of the world, making decisions, and even exhibiting emotional intelligence. As of now, true general AI, also known as artificial general intelligence, AGI, is a theoretical concept. It's the holy grail of AI research, something we aspire to achieve. We're not there yet. Most of the AI we interact with today, whether it's Siri, Alexa, or Google Assistant, are examples of narrow AI designed to perform specific tasks. So the main difference between generative and general AI lies in their scope and objectives. Generative AI creates new data, adding to our existing pool of information. General AI, on the other hand, aims to understand and apply knowledge across a broad range of tasks, just like a human would. Two different paths in the fascinating journey of AI, each with its own unique possibilities and challenges. What can generative AI not do? Despite the fascinating capabilities of generative AI, it has certain limitations that we must acknowledge. To grasp these limitations, let's consider some examples. First, while generative AI can create amazing content, it doesn't truly understand that content in the same way humans do. For instance, ChatGPT can write an article about climate change, but it doesn't actually comprehend the concept of climate change. It can't form a personal opinion, it can't feel concern about global warming, and it can't partake in a debate on the matter. It can only mimic human-like text based on patterns in the data it was trained on. Secondly, generative AI can sometimes produce content that appears plausible but is factually incorrect. Let's say you ask a generative model to write about the history of a fictional planet in a far-off galaxy. The AI, not knowing that the planet doesn't exist, might still produce a compelling backstory filled with alien civilizations and cosmic events. It's a great tool for science fiction, but it also underlines an important point. Generative AI doesn't fact check or verify the information it generates against reality. As you can see, generative AI lacks creativity in the human sense. While it can generate new combinations of existing patterns, it can't produce truly novel ideas or think outside the box in the way humans can. If you ask a generative AI to create a piece of music, it can generate a tune based on existing musical patterns it's learned. But asking it to invent a completely new genre of music would likely leave it at a loss. In essence, while generative AI is a powerful tool with many applications, it's not a replacement for human creativity, understanding, and judgment. It's a brilliant assistant, but it's not the master. What is the danger of generative AI? As powerful and promising as generative AI is, it's not without potential dangers. First, there's the risk of deepfakes. Generative AI can create highly convincing but entirely fabricated images, videos, and voices. This could lead to misinformation, identity theft, and even political disruption. Second, there's the problem of bias. 
AI learns from data. And if that data reflects our own prejudices, the AI will reproduce them, sometimes in subtle ways. It's like a mirror amplifying our society's flaws. Lastly, and it's a big one, is the issue of job displacement. As generative AI gets better at tasks like writing, design, or customer service, it could potentially replace human workers in these roles, causing significant economic and social disruption. So, while generative AI is exciting, it's critical that we navigate these risks carefully. It's like driving a fast car. Thrilling, but you need to keep your hands firmly on the wheel. Can generative AI replace human artists? The big question, right? Well, generative AI can definitely produce artistic content, whether it's music, text, or visual art. But here's the catch. It's all based on patterns and data it has learned. It doesn't create out of emotion or personal experience, the way human artists often do. So while generative AI can create, it doesn't truly innovate or feel in the way humans do. It may supplement or inspire human artists, even transform the art industry, but replace. That's a much bigger leap. The soul of art is human, and that's something AI can't replicate. At least, not yet. How will generative AI change our lives in the next 10 years? Here's the catch. AI, and especially generative AI, is advancing at such a rapid pace that we can't predict with certainty what the next two years will bring, let alone a decade. It's an exciting yet daunting frontier. We're essentially riding an exponential wave of progress, which could bring unprecedented changes to our lives. So as we stand on the precipice of this new era, it's crucial we remember this. With immense power comes immense responsibility. Generative AI has the potential to revolutionize our world, but it's up to us to ensure that it's a revolution that brings more good than harm, more understanding than confusion, more hope than fear. We are the architects of this digital future. Let's ensure we design it in a way that respects our shared human values, our diversity, and our deep connection to one another. For in the end, it's not just about technology. It's about us, our humanity, and the kind of world we want to leave for the generations to come. If you have made it this far, we really appreciate your support. Comment down below with the word 100% so we know that you watched the entire video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.